know, I love this idea of black sky thinking. It reminds me of Marina Benjamin's line from Rocket Dreams when she says, when we dream of space, we dream of transcendence. We dream of what we might become like a caterpillar before turning itself into a butterfly. We need to create the conditions for a cultural inflection point. We need to realize that we are evolution becoming self-directed. We need to realize that what it means to be human is to transcend our boundaries. We didn't stay in the caves. We won't stay within the biological straitjacket of our current skin bag. We transcend our boundaries. We use our technological scaffoldings to turn ourselves into something far greater than what we were. Black sky thinking is a call to upgrade ourselves. It means that what it means to be human is to transform and transcend. That's what, I, what really turns me on about this notion of black sky thinking, and that's why I think it's worth celebrating. Technological singularities propose that the nature of humanity itself will change at certain tipping points in machine evolution. In fact, in the last 30 years or so, advances in biotechnology have collapsed the gap between technology and nature at a rate that Steve Jurvetson observes exceeds that of Moore's law. And with the advent of synthetic biology, which is the design and engineering of living things, we can start to think of nature itself as being a technology. Now with the convergence of the living world with technology, we can imagine a new Cambrian explosion of species, which may be as amazing and as diverse as the original evolutionary event itself. Kurt van Mensvoort describes a next nature as a design fabric that evolves alongside of us, which is a seamless entanglement of technology and culture and ecology. Now, if we are to experience a nature singularity, then we cannot accept that its outcomes are unknown. We depend so much on our environment for our own future that we must learn how to design and engineer with a technology of nature so that we can construct and shape our own environmental futures. Now this takes us beyond the theories that have proposed the singularity in the first place and enables us to venture into an unknown space that we can call the black sky. So black sky thinking inhabits a realm beyond the singularities and it enables to, us to do this by helping us navigate a space in a way that requires us to be experimental, propositional and creative. Now we do this as explorers, but not in a reckless way, but in a creative way, where we start to weave together the probable um, existence threads around us so that we can start to reshape and reimagine our futures. Black sky thinking, therefore, is a way of constructing radically new futures. The only question now is, just how bold are your dreams?